Mikey Day. It is great to see you. Uh, you know I'm a, I'm a fan of yours. You look great in a suit, buddy. I've never really seen you in a suit. Oh, thanks. Here you are, season six on SNL. Yeah. As, and, and crushing it as a cast oh, member thank as you well so as a writer. So nice of you. You're great. Uh, do you find yourself, after six seasons, uh, still starstruck sometimes? Or Yeah, occasionally. It's yeah. usually people who are at a taping that you don't know are going to be there. The one interaction I had that was like... I still think about in that I, it was so awkward. It was, <laughs> I was, it was the season finale of my first season as a cast member and they were setting up a, the set for a sketch that took place on Jurassic Park, The Ride. Yeah. And I played someone who worked on The Ride. So I had a khaki shirt with the Jurassic Park logo on it. Yeah. And I'm just standing there and I hear someone say, hey, I know that. And I look, and it's Steven Spielberg, <laughs> who, like, I grew up a Spielberg kid. I mean, oh, yeah. so instrumental in my uh, upbringing. So to go from zero to Steven Spielberg, <laughs> is, you're like, yeah. And, what, and did, what did you say? I said, and I don't know why this came out of my mouth. And I think <laughs> about it every once in a while, alone, and just start cringing. <laughs> He goes, I know that, and is pointing at the logo. And I said, yeah, the sketch doesn't take place in the actual park. It takes place on the ride. <laughs> Why, wow. dude, wow. dude. Wow. That's so weird. Why did why I? I don't that's know too why. Much detail. What did he do? He what? didn't say, "Hey, does this take place in the actual <laughs> park?" Oh no, it takes place on the ride. No, but what, what, even how do you react to that as any human being? I, I recall him just like smiling like a normal person would, and then kind of walking away. And I thought about it for so long. So, it's, it's so dumb. What? What if you went back in time and could say something? Could you think? What would you? I mean, I've anything but what I said. No. <laughs> um, I've thought about it, and there's a line... I've thought about it. I'm such a dork. There's, there's a line in the movie where um, John Hammond, the old man who um, created Jurassic Park, yes. uh, says, spared no expense. So in hindsight, I wish I gestured to the set, which was a kind of elaborate set. It had, like, a staircase and stuff. And said, spared no expense. So, oh, yeah, so now, Spiel Spielberg comes out and he goes, I know that. And you go... Wait, he's pointing at my shirt. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, go back, go yeah, back. No <laughs> Take two. <laughs> How tall is Steven, do you think? Um, You're standing I'm, or sitting? I'm standing. Let's Should recreate we stand? it. Let's yeah. recreate it. I'm literally looking like this. Yep. And then... And, and now I'm over here and I go... <clears throat> hey, I know that. Spared no expense. You're gonna make it. Thank you. You're gonna make it. Thank you. You're gonna make it, Thank kid. Thank you. Want you to be in the next ten movies? You want? Oh, I'm gonna be in all your movies? The rest of my career. Oh my God! Yeah. Thank you. I love you, and I love that attitude. And I love what you said. Thank you. Yeah. Did you say attitude and point towards my waist there? <laughs> yeah, I like your attitude. I like your attitude. I like your attitude. <laughs> Thank you. you I like. Your... Hey, man. I like your attitude. <laughs> yeah, I like yours too. <laughs> That's a new thing people are doing. <laughs> hey, dude. So, like your attitude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, did, did, thank my father, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did, <laughs> thank my father. father. I don't know. Why would you say that? <laughs> I had the weirdest experience with Steven Spielberg. He said, I l like your attitude. And I said, thank my father. <laughs> And now I'm still in all of his movies. <laughs> oh, my God. How do you make uh, yeah, an awkward more awkward? Um, I know. Uh, let's talk about your show. Is It Cake? Yes. It's the number one show. Congratulations. It's a big hit. Right. Uh, now on Netflix. You. Is It Cake? It, it, people compete to see if they can fake each other out. And, yeah. And you have to slice it. You're the deciding judge. You go, is it, <laughs> is cake? it cake? Yeah. And, if, it, if it's, it's really complicated. But here's why I would say you could argue that it could be a little nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. because if you mess up the slice of the cake, it's not like you have 10 of these cakes. It's very right. pretty elaborate cakes. Right. These bakers who are very talented bake it for, like, eight hours, I think. So they want the cut to be right. So 
I have like an earpiece. And they're like, all right, here comes the cut. Hey, here um, comes the cut. Drum roll. And then you just have to like slice it right and like wedge it out. They're like, this is a standard cut and wedge, bud. You just want to <laughs> cut it, wedge but it out. But now you're an expert at cake cutting. I mean, I would think so, but I got like a random message on Instagram that's like, you cut cake like an eight-year-old. All right, and you go. Right. I'm like, well, that's the, all I have to do when I mess that up. The internet remains champion. It's the just internet undefeated. remains champion. Yeah, yeah, undefeated. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Mikey Day hosting, is it cake? Take a look at this. Is it cake? Uh, just seeing where I want to slice this here. No! Oh, are you kidding? It's a it's, conch! <laughs> it's a conch! Andrew, it's not cake. You did it, buddy. You fooled the judges. You're up for the win. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kelly thought it was five. Let's see. I don't want to hear any noise. Let's find out if this is cake. <gasps> yeah! Oh. yeah! Is it cake? Is on Netflix right now. Mikey Day, everybody. Hey, hey.